You've perhaps heard the expression in English, mind your P's and Q's. That comes from a stupid way of writing this equation. I'm going to say 1 over the focal length is 1 over the distance of the image plus 1 over the distance of the object. This equation is extremely powerful for lens systems. However, you can't use it unless you understand what each of these is going to be. And really in the sense of just you can measure them with a ruler, that's fine, but whether to know if they're negative or positive. And so I suggest before you start any lens problem, you draw yourself a picture of a converging lens to, remember, to remind you yourself how the uh, rays look when they go through and a diverging lens. Same thing, of course, the rays are bending at the surfaces or breaking at the surfaces, but uh, we draw them as if they're happening at the line of action so that we can get our pictures right. So the first thing I want to talk about is focal length. Focal length. And I'm going to say that for focal length, for a converging sucker, we're going to have focal length positive, and for a diverging sucker, we're going to have focal length negative. I suppose that's reasonable. This is focusing on the proper side of the mirror. This guy's all screwed up. It's like virtual and backwards and everything like that. Let's get ourselves a new thing to study. How about uh, pink? And we'll go to magnification. 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 Now, a converging lens, see, the thing is, a converging lens generally has magnification that's negative, but not always. So I can't even use this system. I'm just going to throw the whole thing away. I'm going to say magnification is positive for upright images. That was obvious, I suppose. But an upright image is the same orientation as the object. And magnification is negative for inverted images. This is the definition of magnification, people. I'm sorry to bother you. Inverted images. That's when the object's like this and the image is like that. So a lot of times you'll get that with converging lenses. I don't think you can get it with diverging lenses, but we'll investigate that later. <clears throat> what about seafoam green for image distance? Image distance? Image distance can be negative? Sure, it would be with a diverging lens, for instance. Image distance is going to be positive if we've got a real image for real images. Problem is, if the image is, well, virtual, then that means it's on the wrong side, so we're going to get a negative image distance for virtual images. It's sort of asserting what side we expect to find things on, and if we don't find them there, then we're going to get that thing a minus sign. And believe it or not, we can even have a negative object distance, and this is probably the coolest thing. Object distance. Well, we can get the object to be negative in the following case. If we have a real object, it'll be positive. And I have to define a real object because we haven't seen anything where there's a virtual object. But a real object is something that actually has light diverging from it. Light diverges from this. That's the object distance for a real object. And it will be negative for a virtual object. And a virtual object, I guess, would be something like this. This, look at this thing over here. This is like a virtual object because light is converging to it. Not actually diverging from it, but converging to it. Functionally, it's rather equivalent, but we would say that it's on the opposite side of that, um, that optical instrument. So the virtual object is something toward which light converges. Okay, you're completely ready. You've got this equation, the thin lens equation. Oh, it's not good for thick lenses because thick lenses introduce all kinds of nasty problems. But if the lens is thin, and it's a reasonable approximation for all lenses, then you've got these side conventions and you can attack using that equation. You no longer need to ray trace. Of course, some people might want you to ray trace, but don't think about that.